Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve sound issues you have on your Windows computer. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And the first thing I'd recommend doing for a video of this nature would be to head down to the bottom right corner of your screen and you want to look for an icon that looks like a speaker icon. And when you left click over it or hover over it, it should say speakers. You want to left click on it and you want to make sure this little scroll bar is up on this scroller here and it's not all the way down to zero. And you also want to make sure the speaker icon right here that I'm circling, it doesn't look like this because if it does look like that, you're going to have to left click on it again to unmute the speakers. Now, if that did not work for you, and that is usually a first good step I try and recommend that people who are having sound issues go towards. But if that did not work for you and we have to dig a little bit deeper, we're going to head over to the start button and into the start menu we're going to type in troubleshooting and one of the best matches that comes up should say troubleshooting underneath control panel you want to left click on that one time to open it up and now on the left side here you want to left click on this view all hyperlink now underneath name you want to select playing audio and we can minimize out of our previous window we were on and top should say playing audio, troubleshoot and help prevent computer problems, playing audio, play sounds, and other audio such as music files. You want to left click on this advanced hyperlink right here, and you want to ensure right next to where it says apply repairs automatically, there's a check mark in here, and then select next. And in the event that it says the troubleshooter couldn't identify the problem, you want to select to view detailed information and it should give you a good rundown of what was scanned for and what might have been detected in the process. So this isn't necessarily guaranteed to resolve your problem, but it's definitely a good first step that I recommend people that are experiencing this kind of issue go towards. And if you have any headphones or any other speakers, I'd recommend trying to plug them in as well and see if you have or yield different results. But anyway, I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.